Happy eclipse. The sun said total eclipse of the heart. Am I right? Am I right? Hey, Poppy. Hey, Rosie. Hey, Green Bean. Green Bean, I actually started right when you said that. Just because you said that. I was going to wait like 15 more seconds. And then I started just because you said that. So. Um, oh, last night I was like starting a whole bunch of new worlds. Can you guys hear me? You can. Okay. Last night I was starting a whole bunch of new worlds. And some of them are really cute. Why didn't I delete these ones? Did I forget to delete these ones? I don't know. Do you want to go through them? Do you want to see them? Hey, Amy Jane. Thanks for coming. You sound good. No, you sound good. Do you mean that bean? Oh, I liked this one because there's a cherry blossom biome right by spawn, but it's like the smallest cherry blossom biome ever. If I can even get back up there, I kind of jumped down the mountain because there's like a ton of mobs spawning up there. Uh-oh, I have to sneeze. Uh-oh. Am I going to do it? I get really... Ner oh, I have to sneeze. I'm really nervous to sneeze in front of people because what if it sounds weird? Hey, Carly. I was hanging out in Carly's today while I was watching the eclipse with Ioni. Anyways, this is like the world's smallest cherry blossom biome. Tell me I'm wrong. There's like five total trees. Like this is it. What you're seeing is what it is. So, oh my good grief, there's a creeper. Why am I showing you guys this? This isn't the giant craft world. So silly. I was considering loading up. The spawn's like right where that lava pit is in that area. I was considering loading up the pictures I took of the eclipse. And then I was like, I simply don't want to. Oh my goodness. I have the cutest fucking dog I've ever seen in my life. My dog right now is out on the patio asleep. It's finally like in the 60 degrees, so like she's a dog, so it's warmer than that for her because she's covered in fur. And she is just sleeping in the sun on the patio. Cutest fucking thing ever. I love her so much. Okay. Small but perfectly formed. Here's the actual cherry blossom biome, my actual giant craft world. So today we're going to build... A pink house. Um, I do need to chop down a lot more wood, as a matter of fact. So we're going to be doing that first. And then... Oh, you know what? No, never mind. I was going to say, like, the red wood from the nether would look cool. But I feel like that's going to make it too scary looking. I was going to say, let's mix the pink and red woods. We could also find mangrove trees i found a mangrove biome yesterday when i was exploring worlds on my own and the woods really red but <clears throat> i feel like adding red to it is just gonna make it look scary as opposed to like cutesy and pink so never mind we're gonna stick with the pink wood vibes hey airy hey airy fairy welcome we're just chopping some wood don't mind me how was everyone's day did anyone else get to see the eclipse? Razi, could you see it in New Jersey? We had like a partial eclipse. Um, my sister up in New York, it went totally dark. She was in the line of totality. Totality. Um, me, on the other hand, Balmer was like partial. It got dim. And I was saying in Carly's chat earlier that it looked like somebody just turned the brightness down outside. Like it felt dimmer, but it was still fully bright, if that makes any sense. Too cloudy here, I didn't check. Doesn't Snooky live in New Jersey? Still, because Snooky saw the eclipse. And I know that because I follow Snooky on Instagram. I love Snooky. I, if there's one thing about me, it's that I'm a Snooky stan. Oh, gee, I just got a wheelchair. It's just a walk over the seat type, but it's better than nothing. Oh, that's exciting. My um, grandmother used to have one of those, and it was really nice because 
she could use it to help her. She couldn't walk on her own, but then when we were out, if we needed to like wait in the line or not walk around anywhere, she could just sit on the walker and we could push her around in it. That'll be good. Pots who? Am I right? I'm pretty sure we didn't see anything. Carly, isn't it nighttime already? Imagine having like a once in 20 years eclipse and then you live in England and saw n see nothing because it's already too dark. No, it didn't hit totality here. Bummer. Yeah, you mean my neighbor, Nicole? You do not. You are not neighbors with. Say, say psych. Say psych right now. Snooki's my idol. Like, say psych. You know Snooki's adopted? She's also an orphan like me. Maybe that's why I love her so much. Maybe I just see a lot of me in her. I feel like we're all... We're all just Snooki, for real. Am I right or am I right? I was getting something else, but I forget. Am I right or am I right? Tell me I'm right. Uh-oh, did you guys just get an ad? Because I just got an ad. I'm reading chat on my phone because I only have one monitor. Okay, the ad stopped. Did you guys also get an ad? I'll let her know how much you both have in common. I would die to be friends with Snooki. When I was little, I used to dress up as Snooki. I actually have a picture of it that I won't be showing any of you. But I would put like a bump it in my hair and then like oranges in my shirt to give me boobs. So. No ad yet? Oh, okay. Maybe that was just for me. I love ads because money <laughs> for me. You know what I mean? I've made like 20 cents, not to brag, I don't mean to flex. I've made like 20 cents since I came back according to YouTube Studio. So I guess you could say I'm like pretty wealthy at this point. Again, I'm not trying to brag. I got an ad, thank you. Thank you for the point zero 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 six cents. I appreciate you, Miss Jane. She low key rich. I'm low key wealthy. Where did I put my bed? Why did I put my bed so far? Weird choice. Weird choice for a location. Anyway, I had to leave yesterday. We decided we're bringing back members. I was actually going to put the memberships back last night. And then I forgot that I wanted to do that. So I didn't do it. Isn't that funny? Hey, Neko. How are we doing today? I don't know where you live, Neko. But did you get to see the eclipse? Hello, pro streamer. One thing about me, oh my god, can I tell you guys something personal, but this relates to me having a bad memory and not remembering things? Okay, two weeks ago, your bitch got bacterial vaginosis and a yeast infection at once. I've never had either before, so I didn't know what was going on, uh, but I went to patient first, and they like tested me for both, and they're like, yeah, you have both you dirty bitch you're disgusting and filthy so today i went back to my doctor because like i feel like i'm still having symptoms you know so i went back to my primary doctor today and i'm like i feel like i still have bv like the yeast is for sure gone but i feel like the bv is still there and she was like how did they test you and i was like they just tested my pee and she was like, they told you you have BV and a yeast infection just by testing your urine? And I was like, yeah, they totally did. Um, and like for like a good three minutes, I'm like, 
No, like they didn't swab me or anything. They just tested my urine. And then after we're going back and forth and she's pulling up my records to be like, what the fuck are they doing over at patient first? Why are they only testing urine to test people for this? Then I remember, oh no, they did swab me and test me that way. So I was just like, oh, you know what? They might have swabbed me. And she's like, they did. I'm like reading it right here. And I all I'm thinking is how my primary must think I literally don't have a brain. Because how do you forget that? How do you forget that? <sighs> no memory available. That's what I'm saying. Like, I literally can't remember a single thing. Hashtag vagina health, period. It's actually not fun. Like, don't ever get a yeast infection or a bacterial vaginosis. Um, that's it. That's the end of the story. You're asking the wrong person. My brain isn't the best. Razi says, I'll try. I'll try not to. So that's how my life's been going. But she said she doesn't think I still have bacterial vaginosis, if you wanted to know. Because my pH was normal. so. But I have to wait for the BV test to come back. But yay for healthy pH. Carly, I actually had no control over it, so I don't know if you can even try not to. Let's go. We stand a pH normal vagina. Thank you. We love a healthy pH. Yellow heart. Oh, and... I don't mean to brag or anything. She also told me that my vagina looked normal. So. I have a normal looking vagina. I got another ad. I can't even see chat. Okay, there we go. Congrats on boring vagina. Thank you. Congrats, sweet. Thank you. Anyways, the weather. It's finally getting warm here. Ioni's thriving. She loves sitting on the patio. Which I briefly went over when the stream started. I wish I could have an Ioni cam. I just really don't want to set that up. Chat, any plans for the weekend, Laura? The yeast has definitely cleared up, but I'm still feeling the VV symptoms. <laughs> My vagina looks normal, so that's why. No, that's so me. Razzy, I was actually telling Poppy like two days ago, I'm really proud of myself for not oversharing because, whoa, that's a really tall tree. Because me, like four months ago, as soon as I got diagnosed with BV and a yeast infection, I would have come on stream and been like, hey guys, guess what I have? But this time I waited like four streams to tell stream. So I legit miss the oversharing. Sometimes I, are these jungle woods? It is. Sometimes I'm like, I should stop oversharing um, and be an adult, <laughs> but that's not fun. The reason I started streaming is just so I can say whatever I want. And sometimes I want to talk about yeast infections and bacterial vaginosis. Oversharing is part of your brand. I think that's why I got a lot of my subscribers because I used to be a video girl, not a streamer. I used to be a video maker. And I would get some comments that are like, I subscribed because you say weird things. But I privated all of my videos to be more private. I don't know. I go back and forth now between wanting to be more private and then being like, 
who cares? Like, what would Trisha Paytas tell her audience? You know? So sometimes I'm like, I just want to say whatever Trisha Paytas would say. And then sometimes I'm like, what if my work were to find my channel and watch a video? Would I be embarrassed by what they're hearing right now? Yes, I would. But then it wouldn't be interesting. Razzy, totally subscribe because you say weird things. T.Y. The way you say things is just interesting. Thank you. T.Y. T.Y. V.M. Thank you very much. Oh, gee, I love Trisha. Trish, Trish, whoa. I just glitched. Reading that comment. OMG, I love Trisha's authenticity. Even though she's crazy, I love her. No, because, like, if I became infertile from chlamydia, you wouldn't catch me going on YouTube and being like, I've had chlamydia so many times that I'm infertile. You know, but she just tells everyone that. And while I've never had chlamydia, I have had BV and a yeast infection now. Which is kind of the same thing, right? It just makes you itchy. TBH, I feel you were pretty tame. The stream I subbed to you. I was with my sister, so I might have been more tame. I should stream with her again. M Megan lives right down the road from me, not even five minutes away, and I never stream with her. Which is funny because she likes playing games. Like, she's always playing games. So I feel like we should hang out more. I don't know. She works kind of far away, though. And I just feel like she's always tired after work. And then on weekends, she just wants to lay down and vibe and not, like, stream. So that's probably why. I asked her to drive me to D.C. No, I'm not sharing this. Never mind. I take it back. Reverse. Reverse. Hey, Layla. Welcome. Layla, I forget where you live, but did you see the eclipse today? I'll always remember that stream. I think I privated it. All my streams are private besides, like, recent ones. Are you still moving? Me? No. Was I? Did I say I was moving? Because if I did, that was a lie. You got this I believe in you? Not the lovebirds in my chat. Not the two lovebirds. Not the lovers. Not them chatting me up. I'm in Jersey, so I was able to see it. I took some pics. Are you just Razzy? Is this Razzy's alt? You were thinking about it for a while. I was like wanting to move. Not me getting another ad. What's going on with my ads today? This is the third ad break that it's given me. Weird. You said you might be moving a few months ago back to your mon. I don't know what mon is. Um, I wanted to move back to Arizona, but... I no longer really want to move back there. Like, it's really pretty being there, but it's unrealistic to move back to Arizona, mainly because of the heat. Also, moving is just a hassle. Like, I would like to live in Arizona because it's really pretty and, and cute, but temperature-wise, logistics-wise, money-wise, it's just not the vibe. So I'll probably just stay here for the rest of my life. To your mom. Back to your mom. Oh, to Florida where my mom lives. Florida was also a consideration, but I don't, like, I never really wanted to move to Florida. Like, I wanted to move back to Arizona, but Florida was just an option to move to because my mom lived there. But it's also just too hot. Also, abortion's now illegal in Florida. Um... And it's like, I don't, like, I want kids one day. I don't want to live in a state that's, that I'm not going to be able, like, what if I will literally die if I can't get an abortion, you know? It's just not a place I'd want to live. 
being a woman of childbearing age, you know? I was literally on a call with Layla and told her how you sent your boyfriend who can't smell to get candles. I didn't send him. He just asked for my opinion on which candle scent he should get. I didn't send him. Special teams. Spe oh, they're talking to each other. Is this the what's up brother thing that I see on TikTok? What candles he get? I don't know. He didn't tell me which candles he ended up picking. I would get him in chat right now, but he's in an all day meeting. Is every stream of mine just going to be like a pookie update on like what he's doing right now? He works very hard. He works harder than me by like at least 10 times. So we can't bother him right now. Love a candle haul. I'll get him to do a candle haul one day. What is Pookie like? Um, well, Pookie can't smell for one. That's his main personality trait to me. He doesn't make it his personality trait. I just made it his personality trait for him. Um, I don't know. I should get him on stream one day. I don't know if he'll want to be on stream, though. I'll let you guys know. TBD. TBD. I'll leave that answer TBD. Pookie, the boy who can't smell. The man who can't smell. He'd probably get offended if you called him a boy. Because he's a man. I wish I could roll my R's because I really want to read Glooper's message with the, with the snare drums. Green Bean, stop it. You sound like my therapist. <laughs> Deleted. Message deleted. Is your name Kate and you're actually my therapist? Be honest. Has Green been this entire time just been my therapist? Pause, pause one moment. Where's the red flag? Here it is. There, a roll. Typing, can you guys hear my tippity taps on the keyboard? Hey, Matthew, welcome. Messaging her therapist. I don't have therapy tomorrow, by the way. I ha usually have it every week on Tuesdays. My therapist is taking a break for hashtag mental health because therapists have brains too. So. I actually like never message my therapist when there's an emergency. I'm just like, I'll just wait for Tuesday. For our Tuesday call. Hey clock. Oh, for sure we can hear the tippity taps. I got another ad. I think YouTube is automatically inserting ads today. Like, I'm going to be making so much off these ads. <gasps> We've been raided. He sees me. I don't know. Aren't the little... Are they called illagers? Is that what they're called? Aren't they kind of sexy? You guys don't think he's kind of sexy? Sorry, I'm like ovulating in a few days, so... I'll stop. 
normalize not being where I'm building a base. Thank you. Lauren dot dot dot. Okay. Laura, you cannot fuck the Minecraft. I didn't want to fuck them. I just thought they were a little cute. God. I'll just keep my thoughts to myself. My therapist says I can message her whenever, but now that's so embarrassing. I'll just wait for one day. That's what I'm saying. Like, I could be going through the most traumatic thing and you won't catch me being like, Kate, Kate, like, this is what happened. Like, no, I'll just wait. I'll wait for Tuesday. It can wait. Yeah, and then you mentioned your cycle. Leave me alone. He's got a fire, not gonna lie, for real. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, Razzy. Thank you, Gloops, for agreeing with me. Beat his gray ass. They are kind of gray, aren't they? I got an ad for a vacuum cleaner. A Dyson. I want a Dyson so badly. Any therapist I'd have would need to negotiate more mental health days into their own work contract per... They would agree. Who? I need more context on that message. I feel like there's at least three topics happening right now. Cordless Dyson. The cordless Dyson is so sexy. Like, I do not vacuum. I have a Roomba, and I refuse to regular vacuum anymore because of the cord. I hate it. Like, shut up. Like, stop being a cord. Razzy and Loops would agree with you. They would. They would. Maybe they have good taste. I saw this TikTok. It wasn't an ad, per se, but it was definitely a sponsored post. For, it was like a Dyson dupe. It was like a pink Dyson dupe cordless looked just like a Dyson but it wasn't a Dyson and she was like it it honestly sucks better than my Dyson and I'm like I don't believe you go to hell nobody believes you click the link in my TikTok shop die no because we're based Carrie yeah Carrie <laughs> Razzie just said, yeah, Carrie. I didn't even read that message, Razzie. We thought the same thing. Sharks are better in my opinion. Oh, I have a shark vacuum. And it has a fucking cord. I didn't know that sharks were a thing. The vacuums? Till I was moving. And the movers... They were like, this is such a nice vacuum. I'm like, really? It's just a hand-me-down from my mom. I literally took it from her just because it was there. It was an available vacuum. I didn't know it was a nice vacuum, but it has a cord, so die. Didn't see Carly got autocorrected cringe. There's cordless models. I have one, my parents too. Maybe I'll get a shark, just because they're better. Did everyone get a vacuum out or something? Because I did. I didn't. Actually, I don't know what I got. I didn't pay attention to it. I skipped. Cords are fire. Fine. Not fire. I thought you were like a cord enthusiast for a second. Matt, did you get the eclipse down there? Lily Dyson, we want in this household is the hair dryer with attachments for the Lizzie, period. Get Lizzie for her like next birthday or Christmas or whatever as soonest. Get her the, Lizzie, plug your ears if you're listening to this. Get her the Dyson Airwrap. It's like a styling tool 
Like it's like a hair straightener or curler and it can smooth flyaways too. It's different, not the air wrap. The air wrap is the dryer. What's the one that's not the dryer that you style your hair with? Anyways, Matt, look it up. Like she will like marry you on the spot if you get her that. Another ad. Okay, this ad is for skincare. Skip. OMG cherry blossoms. Yeah, this is my cherry blossom biome. I'm going to make a pink house. Finally got an ad. Did you skip it? You don't want me to make money? Sorry, no, that's emotional manipulation. I'll stop. It's only $11 billion, Matt. Bargain. Lizzie's worth it. Anyone who has a significant other with long hair, it's worth it. It's like 500 bucks. Shark has a version that is like 300 bucks something. But the problem with sharks is, um, is that the attachment that you have to curl your hair, you have to switch out the attachment if you want to curl it left versus right. Whereas the Dyson one, you just like flip a switch on the curling attachment and it changes the direction of the curl and you don't have to switch out the whole attachment, which is, if you ever curled your hair, you know that you can't just curl them all in one direction. Huh, I said one direction. You can't just curl them all in one direction. So it's just much more convenient. There's some really great dupes on Amazon, just saying. Have you watched comparison videos on YouTube though? We know we've looked at them. Okay, per. What was that? What was what? Someone sent us a dupe, but it's not the same as having a Dyson. I might have to spend the money to have the name, period. That's what I'm saying. Zane and Louie are my faves. You're a Zane girly. Louie and Harry are my faves. I'm a Larry girly. I'm such a Larry girly. Like, I was a hardcore Larry shipper. And then when I like stopped being as interested in One Direction, I was like, we definitely made up Larry. Like we were just reading way too hard into it. They were probably friends. We made it like awkward for them. And then every once in a while, I'll get like a random Larry proof video on my TikTok feed. And I'm like, Larry was so real. Like it wasn't delusion. I'm a Zane girl, valid. Something about Louis Tomlinson's family. So like his son looks identical to him. And then his sister, Lottie, had a baby. Looks identical to him. Their genetics are really strong. It's like copy and pasting the same exact baby over and over again. The Larry videos are so convincing because it's real. I don't know. Part of me is like, stop reading into things. And the other part of me is like, okay, but the like 20 best Larry Stylance and Proof video on YouTube. Have you seen that though? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's daytime. Why am I being attacked? Aren't they not supposed to attack you during daytime? Don't spiders not attack you during daytime, or did I make that up? Or was that the other spiders? It's so sad if it's real, though. Yeah. I mean, at this point, if they're hiding it, it's because they're choosing to hide it. Not because, like, the theories that their management made them hide their relationship. But, like, they've been done the band for how many years? Like, eight? They could... They could come out with the relationship if they wanted to. They just haven't. So at that point, it's like, okay. They just don't want to, which is fine. They don't have to. Leave them be. 
For fuck's sake, I want to play this game now. Okay, I should make a realm, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I make a realm and call it Giantcraft? And then everyone can play in my realm? Yes? Should I make a realm right now? Yes? Carly, do you play Minecraft? Will you come to my realm? Do what you want. Should I actually? I will. <gasps> I forgot that we had the Sladies realm. Mm, okay, I don't want to renew that because the only person who really used it was Alicia and she is not, she's not gaming anymore. We literally just removed her from the Discord. No harsh feelings. She's just out there living her life. She doesn't post on YouTube anymore. She's a college girly and we love it for her. It's just, I don't want to renew a realm that, this is my friend James's realm. This is me and my sister's realm. But she owned the realm. Okay, I should add a realm, shouldn't I? Buy a realm? Stop! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can somebody search Java seeds? No, no, no. Actually, I want to look at the seed before. I want a Java seed that spawns you in a cherry blossom. I think I might have to... Can you guys see this? No, you can't see this. Okay, good. I don't know. Should I just make it now? No, I should make my... I should do what the stream was intended to do, and that's build a pink house. Or should I make the realm now? I'm not gonna... Carly, do you think I'm literally stupid? <laughs> she said, do not put your card. Okay, I'm gonna make it after stream. Next stream. We can all play in it, okay? And we can join in Discord, okay? Sound good? Back to Giantcraft. Make the dang rum, also check DMs. A rat DM'd me. Ooh, is this a cherry blossom seed? Command F. Paste. Mmm. This is... Ooh, this whole... Article. I might pull up the seeds and then pick my favorite one and then make the realm. How's that? Thank you. By the way, Clocky, thank you for the two dollars. I'll put that towards the realm, okay? I wish all consoles could link to a realm. Yeah, I play Java. So if you play Bedrock, unfortunately, you won't be able to join the realm. <clears throat> um trying to think I think my minecraft chat is private actually I'll see I don't know if I'm gonna keep the realm just to like close people that I trust won't do hood rat shit in my realm I think I'm gonna do that but Bean I'll add you to the chat if you ever get java you can join realm money Bean you don't even have java Thank you, Bean. I sent a cherry blossom seed in DMs, the same one Snooki uses, actually. Do you think Snooki's a Minecrafter? No, Snooki probably plays like Switch sports with her kids. She's a mom now. Like, she's about the mom life now. Snooki so goals. Can I like these? Oh wait, I'm not even on my larger account. I was gonna say, it doesn't let me heart the um, donations. 
but it's because I'm on Elsie Newman. I'm actually really enjoying streaming again, so I actually might bring back memberships. And when I do, I'm going to DM Carly and Razzie at the same time because they both want to be my first member they've stated in the past and I think it's funny making them race to it it's funny for me Razzy robbed me last time I didn't even really know what memberships were when he joined I was just like messing around with them then I was like, oh, like, that's what that thing that I just did was. That's what the thing that I just added random, like, pictures of the village or Sydney to. Oh, well, I did that, too. It's funny seeing them compete. Who won? Carl's dead. It's because she's ahead in the time zones. It's because she's like five hours ahead. So she had like a five hours advance notice. Isn't that how that works? It's something like that. I was working, she was in bed. Bummer. What would be like the least convenient time for the both of you? It was late, so. And she still won? It's because she doesn't sleep. What is with the British people and not sleeping? Poppy doesn't sleep. Carly doesn't sleep. Galooper doesn't sleep. Okay, this time I got a Yahoo Finance ad. Anyone else? And then I got a BVM Sports. Why am I shouting them out? They're not paying me to do this. They don't deserve my free promo. She beat me twice, but she's not competitive at all. You beat him? I didn't know you were that strong. Carly, are you tall? Thanks for lurking, Layla. I'm 5'7", okay. So you're a giant. What are your feet, like size eight? My boyfriend, he was like, what size shoe are you? Size eight? <laughs> I was like, excuse me? That would be so out of proportion with my height. <laughs> wow, rude. <laughs> no, size 8 is a normal foot size for someone 5'7". In fact, it would be quite small for someone who's 5'7". I wasn't saying it like, ew, are you a size 8? 5'7 is tall. Thanks for lurking, Matt. 5'7 is tall for a woman. That's tall. Not ginormous as in like Violet Beauregard when she ate the chewing gum. Just ginormous as in vertically. Five sevens, I feel like it's tall for women. <laughs> Bro, she called you Shaq. Yo, I just looked it up. We're not telling you what my US shoe size is. It's 10, isn't it? It's 10. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's like a wonder of nature. Oh. Yeah, that's what it is. A wonder of nature. That makes sense, right? 
like one of the wonders of the world. 5'7 is tall for a woman here. 5'7 is tall. I think Poppy's like 5'9. She's the tallest. I think Poppy... Okay, backstory. If you weren't here from the start, the Sladies were me and like my OG mods. There was me, Poppy, Maddie, AKA Permapup here on YouTube. And then Alicia who w was Anahisha here on YouTube. Poppy and Alicia were the same height. And then Maddie and I were the same height. So. And I think it's cause I think they were so tall because they were European. And Maddie and I aren't. It's not. <laughs> Carly, it's not bad. Like Victoria's Secret models are ginormous. They're like six feet tall. Like Kendall Jenner's like 5'11". Are you about to come out of the woodwork and beat your ass? <laughs> it, wait, Aerie's tall, right? No, like, I wish I was tall. Because then you're stretched out more vertically and you look skinnier. I'm literally just calling you skinny. Okay, stop. Like, why are you being offended? Now you calling her Kendall Jenner? That's her name, isn't it? Wait, how tall are you, Lauren? I'm six foot 11. Yeah, but you're Zelda Carl's and that's way cooler. I've never played Zelda. I don't understand what he's saying. Nine and a half. I bet your balance is really good. You know, my older sister's feet, they're a size six. She's like 4'11". <laughs> and every time I see her feet and hands, do you know those videos that people make with those tiny doll hands? Do you know what I'm saying? Like the tiny doll hands. Let me see if I can like find. Wearing tiny hands all day. Oh hi there. My name's Chris and you can call me Chris. And today I'm going to be I don't want to watch a video. Images. Oh, shit. Okay, I hope I don't have any weird information on screen right now. Ah, okay. It's giving this. <laughs> it's giving this. You know what I mean? How'd you know I was on her video? No, Carly, 9.5, nine and a half is a completely normal foot size. And I'm complimenting you right now by saying you don't look like you have tiny doll feet. Like you're so in proportion and you're tall. So you stretch out more vertically. So you're skinny and you can probably reach things when you go to the grocery store. Do you know how humiliating it is for me having to like jump into displays like today there was only two yogurts left the yogurts that I wanted because I'm short my wingspan is not that long and my arms aren't that long and I was leaping into that refrigerated display case trying to get the last two wee vanilla flavored yogurts like a fucking yogurt fiend like they couldn't hold me back like I was ravenous for the french style yogurt in the glass containers all because I'm short okay so I'm just jealous of you leave me alone I'm complimenting you I got to go have a good night okay good night clock tell Emily I said hi You'll play we, I, 
love the Wee yogurts by Yoplait. I originally just got them. I was like, I don't want to make it a habit of eating these because, I don't know, like, they have added sugar in them. It's probably just not, like, the healthiest choice. Um, I just want them for the little glass containers. So I bought a bunch of lids for the containers. And I bought, like, a couple of the yogurts. And I'm like, wait, this texture is so good. Like, I'm usually only a Greek yogurt girly because it's, like, high-protein, low-calorie... No added sugars, you know, but these we buy yo plates, they're like my little sweet treat. They're so good. OMG, it's a yogurt saga. I'm not like promoted by them at all. I've seen people online say that like they think that they're gross. So if you're a yogurt fiend, you might not like them, but I think the texture is so luxurious. And then I got these little espresso spoons to eat the wee yogurts with because I was gobbling those sh little shits down in like four bites. So I was like, I need to get smaller spoons and take smaller bites because I'm just a fucking yogurt gobbler. I just inhale the yogurt. So I got these little spoons and I feel so, I feel so wee wee baguette when I eat them now. It's really good. You could ask for assistance. Absolutely not. I'm a strong independent woman. I can jump and retrieve the glass yogurts on my own. I save the jars for healthier parfaits later. I, you know, Lurk, I was going to do that, but not parfaits. I was going to make my own yogurt. Um, I want to be one of those bitches that makes their own food. Like, instead of buying bread from the store, I make my own bread. Instead of buying yogurt, I make my own yogurt. You know? But making yogurt kind of freaks me out because you have to leave it out to form into yogurt. Um, and I'm weird about food that's left out for more than two hours. And you have to leave yogurt out for, like, what, five, six hours? But I know that that's how they make the yogurt at the store. Like, I know they don't make it any different. But the fact that I'd be seeing it left out on my own would kind of freak me out. And I feel like I just wouldn't eat it. I googled Yo Plate Wee and it corrected to toilet quiz. I feel like some people feel that way about the yogurt. Like yogurt enthusiasts. That bitch that makes her own food. You guys know Nara Smith? Like, I want to be her. Like, I told you guys last stream, I got a Dutch oven to make bread. Because Pookie eats bread. He's gotten loaves of bread from the store, like, twice when he's come over to eat with his meals. And I'm like, I should just make him bread. Making bread sounds so fun to me. I'm going to make some Native American fry bread later. It takes like three hours to make. I feel like I know what that is, but I forgot. Like, I feel like I've seen that on TikTok. Do you have to knead it and shit? Is she the one that makes her own mozzarella? Probably. Oh, no, that's Ballerina Farms. The blonde lady with like 15 kids. That's Ballerina Farms. I watch her as well. Ball I like Nara Smith because, like, for me, I like the idea of being a housewife, but I still want to make my own personal money. And that's, like, the energy that Nara Smith gives. And, like, she's not super gender role -y, you know? Uh, whereas Ballerina Farms is a little more traditional. Like, I like watching her. It's just not the lifestyle I strive for. So I'm a bit more of a Nara Smith fan. Do you get what I'm saying? But no, Ballerina Farms is cool, too. She has... I don't know what it's called. Do you know that oven that she has? It's... Or, like, stovetop slash oven that she has. It's always on. And you can't control the temperature. It's so... Like, old-timey. Ballerina Farms is more, I guess, old timey, whereas Nara Smith is more modern. That's the way to put it. It's a yeast bread that you fry in oil. It's used for fry bread tacos a lot, or you can put honey on it and it tastes more like a donut. I feel like I would love the honey version of that. 
I love the flavor of honey. Have you guys ever put honey in your coffee? If not, try it. Does it give like funnel cake vibes? Because that's what I'm picturing right now. Like a funnel cake, but instead of powdered sugar, honey. Hey, Scrillbo. I almost called you Scribo again. I've had one of the dairy-free ones and the texture isn't quite there. It's so good though. What are we talking about? Bread. Arga. Carly said Arga. I'm late, but my shoe size is nine, which coincides with me being a nine out of 10. I think you're a 10 out of 10. I think you're an 11 out of 10. My tall queens. Step on me, you know? That's the name of the stove she uses, Arga. Aga. I watched a whole video on it. I was like, that's cool. I would definitely burn everything I cooked on that because there's no temperature control and I would probably just forget I was cooking I watched a video of her making mozzarella like two weeks ago because I was buying mozzarella and I'm like this is probably really easy to make like it's not an aged cheese I could just make it and then she was explaining in the video if you do one little step wrong it won't turn out and I'm like I don't want to measure things I don't want to use a thermometer because how did cheesemakers do it back in the day without a thermometer you know, I just want to be like that. I just want to throw shit into the pot and know what I'm doing. And she's like, if you don't hit exactly like 88 degrees, the whole batch is ruined. We just feed it to like the pigs when it gets ruined. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have pigs and I would feel bad wasting a bunch of milk as well because how do they get the milk? They have to keep the woman cows pregnant via artificial insemination. It's not the most ethical of industries. So I feel like if you're going to eat dairy and if you're going to eat meat, you can't waste it. Doesn't matter if you're full. You pick the meat out of the dish that you're eating and you finish it. You know, I'm lost. Where's my bed? Same with dairy. You don't just throw out dairy things. Because a cow was forced to be pregnant to create that milk. So fucking eat it. Oh, you're uncomfortable because you're a little full? Okay, the cow was uncomfortable because they forced it to be pregnant and then be milked. That's just how I feel about it, okay? I'm not a vegan. <gasps> oh my goodness. There's a creeper. No, he destroyed my bed. I'm doing my new Crocs here in the mailbox today. So exciting. What kind of Crocs? Did you get gibbets? Giblets? What started as a byproduct turned into its own separate industry. Milk was a byproduct? Do you know what's a byproduct? Oh, hey, Dan. Welcome. We need to kill. Speaking of unethical industries, I have to kill some sheep. To make another bed. Rip sheep. There are so many mobs down here. Welcome, Dan. Bro, what did I walk into? Ben, I don't know what you walked into. We've been on several different topics. I'm being chased by mobs. I don't remember any of them. I guess it's just a byproduct of getting more meat. I guess so, yeah. They have to keep the cows making more cows to kill them when they're like two years old. So that makes sense. Collagen is also a byproduct. And now it's like an expensive supplement. It's disgusting. When I was younger and I was going on one of my diets as like a teenager, because I was like fat. <laughs> I think my mom got me like collagen powder. And it smelled like beef. Like meat. It was, I was expecting to be this flavorless thing. 
no, it smells like beef. It's disgusting. Don't let anyone tell you that collagen's like this healthy superfood. It's a fucking byproduct of like the meat industry. And it's it reeks of beef. I got the OG clock in black. OG croc in black. I have more gibbets than I know what to do with. Gibbets seem so fun. I wish I liked crocs because gibbets seem like the funnest thing to collect. I remember when I was little, I had a pair of purple Crocs with gibbets. I forget what the gibbets were because I was like seven. But I remember having them. They were my little prized possessions. Did my rant about dairy scare you guys off? It was nothing personal. Well, it's personal to the cows. But that's besides the point. Not me being freely right now. I'm literally not a vegan. Collagen is used by the body to hold everything together. If you have a collagen deficiency, old wounds open up. Nice. It's marketed as like, it'll get rid of your wrinkles. Like that type of a supplement. Um, which I don't even think is true. I don't even think like your body... I've seen something that, like your body doesn't convert or use the collagen that you eat as collagen in your body. I don't know. Don't ask me to quote the science on it. I nearly OD'd on bananas because of her. Didn't we all? I remember I discovered freely when I was trying to lose weight one time in eighth grade. My bus ride to school was an hour and a half each way. So one day before school, I was like, yeah, I'm going to make a big smoothie, like freely says to make. So I used like pineapples and like some greens. It was like half a gallon of liquid that I chugged right before getting on the bus to school. So I chugged it, and like by the time I was getting off the bus an hour and a half later at school, I was just full of piss. Like it hurt. I was almost pissing my pants trying to get to the bathroom off the bus. It was so bad. Like I consumed so much liquid because of her. The entire meat industry is horrific in the US. Yes, correct. You are correct. Like, I would gladly pay more for meat if I knew that it was more ethical. Like, I eat, I don't eat beef. I know I talk about cows a lot. I eat dairy, but um, I eat a lot of chicken, and I'd pay more for it if I knew that they weren't, like, crammed in a room on top of each other, which I guess is free range. Which I guess is already an option. Does my store have free range? I've actually never looked for free range at the store. This is a new thought of mine that I'm having right now. I'm sure Wegmans has free range. That would be a, a very Wegmans thing. It's worse in the Middle East and Asia. Raw till four and her portion, portion sizes are fine if you're running a marathon every day like she does. She, um, I actually still watch her videos because I think she's so shady and funny. I don't take diet advice from her anymore. The only thing that's really stuck with me is that, like, we should all probably be eating more fiber and fruits and vegetables. Like, I eat pretty, like, big portions of fruit. I'll have, like, probably two bowls of fruit fruit a day which I feel like is good for you it has a lot of fiber keeps you keeps you pooping you know I feel like we all should be eating more fiber 
But in terms of like not eating protein, I was scared to eat protein for years of my life. I refused to eat protein and like most forms of fat that weren't like an avocado. Um, so like maybe don't just eat avocados for fats. IDK, just my opinion. They're, they are the $8 eggs. You're so healthy. Am I healthy, Poppy? I actually... I am actually mindful of my fiber intake. Um, so I don't get constipated. So, thank you. And it also reduces your risk of bowel cancer. The more you know. Doesn't she live in a rainforest now or something? So, last... I've seen she lives in Australia, I'm pretty sure. But she moved to I don't even know what country. She lived somewhere in South America in like the jungle. But I think she moved back to Australia. Probably still in the forest. She is off grid. Growing her own food. Which, I don't know how she... So, my, like, a big issue with that diet is that you always feel hungry. And I feel like she would just tell you it's because you're not eating enough calories. But people do. People do eat enough calories. It's just when you're only eating calories from, like, carbs and high water foods, you're just going to feel starving because it's not balanced. And, like, just because you're physically full in your stomach just because your stomach's descended from eating so much food doesn't mean that you can trick your body into not getting enough calories or getting like their calories getting the calories from an unbalanced meal if that makes any sense like you might feel full at first but keep eating that way for weeks and weeks and months and months and you'll be starving 10 minutes after you just ate and that was a problem that I had when I was trying to eat predominantly fruits and vegetables is you eat and then you're starving a couple minutes later. And eating more calories of those same foods isn't going to fix it. Protein is most satiating of all the food groups. Yeah, I think... Meals should have a com unpopular take. I think meals should have a combination of proteins, fats, and carbs. Carbs give you energy. Protein keeps you full. Fat takes longer to digest and keeps you full. Voila. Then you won't be hungry after eating a meal. And you'll feel like you're sa satisfied and you won't want to binge eat. It's as easy as that. Is she still off grid with her internet skull emoji? <laughs> Not Carly being shady. What if she was here and read that? The other day I ate a huge plate of rice and veggies with a little shrimp and I was starving 30 minutes later. Shrimp is also really low calorie. Like it's literally just protein. There's, like, no fat in it. So, yeah, I feel like I'd be starving, too. Large Iron the Banana Girl? Large Iron the Giant Girl. Protein is still so important for a diet, yeah. <clears throat> even until probably like a year ago, year and a half ago, I guess, I still was trying to not eat much protein. Like I wouldn't eat meat. I wouldn't eat anything dairy. The most protein I would get would, would be tofu, but I'd only eat it in like, I'd eat like a sliver of tofu for one meal a day. So I wasn't getting that much protein. It really stuck with me. The freely diet advice stuck with me like 10 years 
after I first discovered her. So, large iron, the gamer woman. Per shrimp is low cal but high cholesterol. I don't understand what cholesterol is, and I realized that a couple months ago. That I just don't understand what it is, because I always thought cholesterol had to do with fat. But then I learned that it like doesn't necessarily have to do with fat that you eat. So I just don't know what cholesterol is at this point. And someone tried to explain it to me and I still didn't understand it. Also, I'm pretty sure studies, don't ask me which, I saw it in like a YouTube video, okay? I'm pretty sure studies are showing that dietary cholesterol doesn't necessarily increase your like cholesterol in your blood work. Am I wrong? Didn't, isn't that a new study that just came out? I saw it somewhere. So like eggs, it used to be that the like American Heart Association only recommended a certain quantity of eggs per day because of cholesterol and they've recently revoked that i think am i wrong do we have any science girlies in chat any dietitian girlies i have no idea okay i think cholesterol is often tied to sodium but i could be completely wrong wow my cholesterol is probably so high then hey lydia Welcome. We're just talking about cholesterol. If you have any comments on cholesterol, feel free to join in. He almost lit that bee on fire. High cholesterol is bad for the heart, I think, per period. She has spoken. Ooh, I'm getting a Trump ad. No, not a Trump ad. A Robin Ficker. That went by way too quick for me to read his name. Finish the wall, end the invasion, bring jobs to Maryland. Robin Ficker for U.S. Senate. I assume that if you don't live in Maryland, you didn't get that ad. Oh my God, it's an election year, isn't it? That's why I'm getting that ad. End the invasion. The dude was also like 70 years old. I feel like if you're over 60, you should not even have a chance of being in office. Hashtag not spawn, definitely not sponsored. <laughs> definitely not sponsored. I don't know Robin Ficker personally, but um, it's not exactly a candidate. I would vote for. High cholesterol is when you have too much of a fatty substance called cholesterol in your blood. It's mainly caused by eating fatty food, not exercising enough, being overweight, smoking, and drinking. Per. So it is fat related. I don't smoke or drink. I'm just chubby. Chubby and cute. And hairless, because hashtag IPL, am I right? More like Robin fucker. Ha <laughs> ha. I should go comment that on his Instagram. On my main. Robin Ficker? More like Robin fucker. Okay, I really want to even out this terrain. One thing about me is I'm going to try not to do it anymore. Because it ends up that it's the only thing that I want to do. Um, I will completely like flatten an area. Like digging into like these little dirt hills. And like putting 
filling in like holes in the ground like this. I'm going to try not to do it too much here. So the terrain still looks natural. But I'm going to clean it up just a little bit. Where's the pink house? You <gasps> Poppy is calling me out. Poppy, I was chopping down wood for it. As a matter of fact. Now I'm going to clear out some of the lumpy areas to make it nice and smooth to build on. I also hate grass. I will completely degrass an area, like all of this grass. But I don't want to do it because I want it to look like a natural area, but like I can't help. Like I don't want the grass. I need to get rid of the grass. Like it bothers me. Should I just build my house right here? I should put my house, let's go to a high point and look at the area and see where the best area to build a house is. Why do you hate the environment? I love deforesting. I love deforestation. Okay, my house, I feel like it should face I don't know, which way should the house face? The savanna, the ice biome, the birch forest, the plains, or the oak forest mountain. On top of mountain doom, on top of it, no, I'm gonna put the house here. I just don't know which way to position it. On top of your mom. Good one. Ban her. I feel like facing this way seems like the way it should face. In your bum. Ban him. Face it the last place you showed us with the cherry blossoms. Sorry. Towards the cherry blossoms? Okay. Thanks, Carly. Thanks for actually answering the question, Carly. Poppy said, Daniel. I'm so sorry. No, let Daniel apologize for his own actions. I thought all the options were nice, so. No, you're nice. No, you're cute, Jeans. I think that should be enough wood to build a house. I don't think we're going too big today. We're gonna keep it a modest size. That's what she said. Learn my last message is funny, please read. Ari, you know how I am with reading chat. I hate the ugly green hair that grows outside. It literally is ugly green hair. Like you need to cut it. It needs to be gone. I do not apologize. Those are my jeans? No, your cute jeans. It was in all caps, she's not that bothered. We do need to shave this mountain. No, okay. Now we're gonna clean it up and then we'll build it. Okay, Poppy, we will build it. I will at least lay a couple blocks down to start building it this stream. But we need to clean up the area first. I'm cute jeans. No, you are cute jeans. Isn't that what she says? I actually don't know the script. So I'm sorry if I'm not like playing along exactly how you wanted me to respond. I'm gonna go. I'm going home. Whatever she says. Ew, why just get an ad in the middle of a stream? Because I think I know what happened. I clicked allow for YouTube to insert ads. So like I'm watching chat on my phone because I only have one monitor and I have Minecraft in full screen and I've gotten like seven ads in the past 10 minutes. So if you keep getting ads, it's actually my fault. 
But more money, ayy. Did someone say money? We're covering up the holes. <laughs> That's what she said. You get money? I'm monetized. I have over a thousand subs and four thousand watch hours. Thank you very much. Olivia, you didn't know me, but I used to post two videos a week, and I'd stream, like, at least once a week, but now I, most things are privated. But I used to work really hard to build my YouTube up and get monetized. But I took a hiatus, and then you met Poppy while I was on my hiatus. And then I came back, and I was like, new friend, new mod, who dis? Okay, I can hear beeping. Oh, that's my house. Um, I don't know how to make it stop. That's my security system. It beeps to let me know that it's armed and ready. I don't know how to turn it off. It bothers Pookie too. And then sometimes it just randomly stops and doesn't beep. So I don't know what that's about. If you work at ADT, can you hit me up and tell me how to make it shut up? There's definitely beeping. Poppy's not delusional this time. Ceiling bird, no ceiling birds here. The window, not the window, the patio door is open. Ioni's so cute. Do you guys wanna see my dog? Oh, not me being on camera. Look at that cute. Look at that precious angel. Hey, beautiful. She just woke up from a nap. Hey, beautiful girl. Oh, big yawns. That was a good yawn. That was a good yawn. She had a big day today. She um saw her first eclipse. Big stretches. Hi, cutie. She's doing some scritches. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, no, just kidding. She's not walking over to me. JK. <sighs> Look at that cutie and Ioni's there too. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Carly Mae, she's 31 pounds. Hey Siri, how many stone is 31 pounds? Carly, she's 2.21 stone. She's so smart to handle an eclipse. My dog stares at the sun. Ioni didn't give a single shit. She was like, ooh, is this grass? I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> and just ate like grass and played with her tennis balls. 14 pounds is in a stone. That's what I thought, but I wanted to be sure. I occasionally watch Super Size versus Super Skinny. And I've definitely Googled what a stone was before. She eats the ugly green hair outside purr. My neighborhood unironically has ugly green hair outside like random long patches of grass and it's getting really annoying to look at and be around every time i have to step in it when i'm playing with ioni i think i'm gonna get stung by a wasp again because i got stung by a fucking wasp yesterday do you guys feel bad for me because you should Ooh, have you told the neighborhood about ipl i haven't but that's a good suggestion. I'm getting a Claritin ad right now, which is so me. I took my Claritin yesterday. I actually take the Costco brand of Claritin called Aller Clear. Still no pink house, just saying. Can we ban her too? Can another mod just ban Poppy the mod? Can you guys ban mods? Poppy's actually a managing moderator. 
So I don't think you can even ban her because she's like the top tier of moderator. Womp womp. Try it. She wants to be banned so bad. I'm just kidding, do not ban the poppy. Poppy, were you my first mod? Do you want me to complain about the lack of housing so you can ban me instead? Oh, Dan. That jokester. Was that a good Dan impression, by the way, guys? Did I sound just like him? No, I don't think so. I think I modded you and Maddie at the same time and you guys were my first mods, right? Am I wrong? I remember your first message, like the first time I saw you in my chat though. I don't remember what you said, but I remember when it happened. I cannot ban her, she's untouchable. Maybe I have no memory, so. Sorry, if you get seizures, I would look away from the screen for a second. I'm doing a really wobbly thing right now. I just need all these things off the ground so I can place dirt blocks over them. You're asking people to name the bubbloid. I said call it bubble. You remember that? That was not very creative if I'm honest, Poppy, but I can't believe you remember that. You should have said something like call it WAP. Call it WAP by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. This is the part of Minecraft that gives me motion sickness. Yeah, look away. I'm being very motion right now. I'm being very motion sick right now. Just listen to my voice and don't look. It's almost done. Okay, we're done. No more wiggle wog wib wibble wobbles. Wiggle woggles. Vom. Thank you, Dan. Somebody said that like the bobbing makes them dizzy. There's like a setting for like bobbing. And I don't know what it does. Minecraft doesn't make me that motion sick. Demonologist. I tried playing that with Keith last week. And okay, well, first of all, he gifted me the game. And then I thought I accepted it because I was playing, I think we were playing either like prop hunt or oh dear. And then I got the email right there and I was like, oh, I was gifted a game. And I was like, oh, you just gifted me a game. And I clicked like on the email, accept gift. I thought I accepted the gift. Like I did it on voice chat. Then when I went to go play it, it wasn't part of my library. It wasn't like pre-purchased. So I just went and bought it. I realized later that I just like didn't actually accept the gift, but I went, we played a round of Demonologist. Oh my goodness. That's the dizziest game ever, but I was able to get a refund for it. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't accept his gift because it probably would have been more difficult to get a refund. I don't know how that works. 
I'm jealous of the speedy terraforming. Animal Crossing could never. It would take like seven seconds just to break a single block if this was Animal Crossing. Still no house though. See no hinting. Oh, so you make fun of homeless people now, Poppy? That's not a good look. What if I told everyone? That's what I thought. That's what I thought, sweaty. Poppy, you're banned. Olivia banned you and she's not even a mod. How does that feel? I'm kind of getting too tired to start building <laughs> the house right now. I'm playing Phasmophobia with Keith tonight, I think. Like, he said he wanted to earlier, and I don't know if he'll remember that he told me that. But I feel like I should save building for another day to save my, like, mental game energy for Phasmophobia later. Lydia loves to fight me. Seems like she likes to fight everyone. Because she always brings their moms into it. And like, Lydia, if you're going to say your mom jokes to me, you need to elaborate which mother. Because I technically have two. And I'll let you figure out what that means and how that happened. Should I eat chocolate cake for dinner? Yes. I've eaten like nine pieces of chocolate today. If you ever ask if you should eat something chocolate, I'm going to say yes. Like I'm obsessed with chocolate. Pookie got me my favorite chocolate the other week. I like the Dove variety pack with dark milk and caramel chocolate. Hi, Ioni. Hi, beautiful girl. Chocolate! Welcome back, Electric Blaster. I like how chocolate is what brought Electric Blaster back out. I came here for a pink cherry blossom house, and I've been really patient. I'm petting my dog. She is so cute. Oh, your face is wet. You just drank some water. You just drank some water. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? Is she hasn't peed all day besides the morning. I've taken her out three other times for... One of them was like 10 minutes. One of them was 40 minutes. One of them was like 30 minutes. Because we were outside during the eclipse. I was running around with her trying to get her to pee, and she won't pee. I wonder if the, it's the eclipse. Razzy, I don't even know if he's still here. Razzy just sent me a picture of 
an actual cherry blossom seed. Like an in real life picture of just a seed instead of a Minecraft seed. Thanks, Razzy. Total eclipse of the P. <laughs> Good one, Olivia. <laughs> are we raiding? Who are we raiding? Did I end? Did I say I was ending my stream? Do you just mean in general if we're raiding? Like I might. I don't know who's streaming right now. I'm not ending right now at this very moment. When are you playing Faz? Later tonight. Probably. If I do play. We'll be in the voice chat on Keith's server, probably. I saw his message saying he got a seed for you and thought, oh, that's nice. Did he message that? I didn't see it. No, it wasn't nice. I got a Domino's ad and a Claritin one. That's the perfect combo. Does anyone else also eat Domino's and Claritin for dinner every night? like over an hour ago you read the message mm. am i delusional he sent that an hour ago and i just got the message notification pop up now isn't that crazy how it didn't give me like i got a little pop up in the corner of my screen saying that razzy dm me i thought he just sent it now like, I don't read timestamps like that. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. I told you it was the same one Snooki uses. Oh, I didn't know that you actually sent me one. I thought you were just being like, haha, I'll send you the one that Snooki uses. No, I remember that conversation. For sure. How could I forget? I just didn't get the notification till now, Razzy. You can talk to Discord about that one. Did you take that picture? Do you have cherry blossom seeds? Or is that a Google image? Maybe a front door? At least give us some foundations. Oh, now it's raining, Poppy. Phenomenal. How can I build when it's raining? Then the interior is going to get wet and grow mold. I can't stop doing this. Like it needs to all be even and I can't stop doing this. Sounds like a you problem? It kind of is, if you think about it. I like being inside my Minecraft house when it rains. It sounds nice. It's so cozy. Curling up with a good book like Phyllis from The Office on a rainy day. What is a house really though? Maybe it's already built.
Do you have OCD too? Mm. My mom would probably say yes. I think I'm just particular. Here you go, Poppy. Pink cherry blossom house. How's that? Did you get what you wanted? Thank God. Okay, there. That's my house, Poppy. Just for you. Is my game audio really low to you guys? Like too low to hear because I don't want you guys hearing my mouth sounds you know when it's too quiet and there's no background noise and then you can hear the mouth sounds sounds perfect no we hear you hear my mouth sounds oh god did you just hear my throat make that noise like I couldn't hold that in my throat burped on its own Best Minecraft mansion build I've ever seen. Isn't it a mansion? It has a whole bed in it. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? Why are you out? We forgot to do a thing. Pink bed. There we go. Can't have a cherry blossom house without a pink bed. Am I right, ladies? We don't hear your mouth sounds. I mean, it's not too low. We hear the game audio. Oh, okay. Swag. Slay, I mean. You're so right. Aren't I always so right? Thank you. Thank you. Pink, it is pink, Electric Blaster. Now that you mention it, it is pink. Imagine how quickly I could dig if I had literally any other type of shovel besides a stone shovel. Should I mine? Should I go mining? Instead of building a house? Question mark? Get iron, dog. I left all my iron back at my original base. Make a diamond shovel. Shine bright like a diamond. Diamond. No D. Do you guys want to know something funny? Say yes. That's it. That's the funny thing. So 
and that's a Twy eyes. <laughs> the thing is, is like I don't talk to Twy ever. Like literally never. I don't think I've seen him in a chat in months. Are you okay, girl? But the other day I just sent him like, we're not, like, close. So imagine how weird this is, receiving this message. It's a Twitter post that says, Imagine your name being Michael. Wow, so sick. We've never heard that one before. And I'm like, he probably hates me now. Oh, I need to go to bed in my new home. Let's close the door. Good night. Nighty-nights. Uh-oh, are you okay, girl? <laughs> are you okay? That gave you a fright. She was just coming down the stairs, and then she like slid forward down a step by accident and then she just stopped and now she's in the middle of the step stopped. Are you okay? That was a scary thing, wasn't it? That was scary. I was scared for you. When she was a puppy and learning how to do the stairs, she knew how to get up a couple stairs. She walked up like four steps and then she freaked out. She's like, fuck, how do I get down? So then she just jumped down all four of them as like this little five pound puppy she just jumped and then hurt herself it was three in the morning I would get up in the middle of the night to take her out she had a crate her first like two weeks home I would take her out of the crate and like play with her get her to pee and stuff and then go back to bed after like a half hour but this was at like three in the morning she just jumped and then landed on her paw weird so at three in the morning She's like, like crying. Every time she stepped on it, she'd cry even louder. And I'm like, stop. Because my mom and sister were staying at me, at me, were staying with me last summer because my little sister had spine surgery. So they were here and I'm like, oh my God, like stop crying. You literally just, you did this to yourself. Fucking puppy. She also got swarmed by wasps last year. Uh, the reason why is because she stuck her head into a bush because she probably smelt the wasp nest. Then all these wasps came out of it and one of them stung her and it was really painful. She freaked out. She was crying. It was really not pleasant. And then do you know what she does still? She sticks her head in the exact same bush every single morning. She wakes up and goes and sniffs the exact same part of the bush, too. And I'm like, did you not learn anything? Wasps. I know you don't know the reference, but that was the perfect Pikmin dying noise. Wasps. Wasps. Know the noise I only made? Oh, really? Thank you. You're the perfect Pikmin noise. Pikmin dying noise. Anyways. He totally meant the comment you read after his comment. I didn't mean to do that. Anyways. It's actually anyways. Oh. 
Oh, you know what I need to do? This whole thing right here needs to go. This whole chunk of mountain needs to go. I heard that's the thing with cats. If my sister helped her cat out of danger, she'd get mad. If the cat got into danger and got out of it herself, she'd learn her lesson. So you're saying I should let my dog get swarmed again? It was really sad. It was really sad to witness. A little crying puppy in pain. She's in top shot. Carly, are you in top shot? Or me? I'm not in top chat. It says all messages. Try again, sweaty. You trying. One thing about jungle trees is they don't give you saplings. Your mom's sweaty. You are mom, sweetie. Thanks, Razzie. I heard that, oh, well, not that, but it's probably different with dogs. I think dogs are just happy-go-lucky. And they're just like, you know what? This bush smells like something, and I want to sniff it even more. Yeah, last time it was wasps, but this time it might be something else. What's with the salmon pick on screen? I forgot that was there. <laughs> Amy, it's just a funny thing. It's just a silly, goofy thing. We have a thing with salmon as well on this channel. So it kind of just tied into that. Yeah, Carly, you're correct. I'm in top chat? Bean, the fact that you admitted that publicly, nobody would have known. And then you outed yourself anyways. Do you pronounce the L in salmon? Why did I say salmon? We have one rule on this channel, Amy Jane, and it's that you can't pronounce the L in salmon. I've been told that I'm now required by law to not omit the L in salmon. Now omit the L? To no omit the L in salmon from now on? Ban me. I know, I know. Correct. Electric blaster, correct. Oh, I discovered another verbal ick today. What is it? Salmon? I have a lot of verbal icks, but I can't think of any right now. Oh, you know what I don't like? I saw someone on TikTok talking about this, is when people say they're the G's, weirdly. Like they over enunciate their G. And I forgot how they said it, but when they said it, I totally agree with it. I think it's something that like Kourtney Kardashian does and I've always had that ick. A guy said drowned. Bean what? <laughs> We're just like, ew, verbal icks. And Bean's like, A cabs, all cops are bastards. Oh, does anyone here watch 911? Or is it 911, Olivia?
I saw a video today. It was a picture of New York City and then two vertical airplanes. And then they animated the twin towers to fly into the airplane buildings in New York City. It's reverse 9-11. This stream is going to get limited ads now. The little money sign in my YouTube studio is going to be yellow. Hey, Miss Girl, I'm streaming. Can you do that somewhere else? Thank you. I love you. Hi. Hi, beautiful. Sorry, she was digging. She was having a moment. She was digging the carpet. She was just getting cozy. She was going to curl up. That's one way of taking back accidentally <laughs> clicking allow on ads, I guess. Peppers wants attention. I'm petting her right now. I've been streaming for two hours. That is a while for you, huh? She's been like napping on and off this whole time. On her patio and on the couch. She's so cute. You're so cute. I wish she was small enough to fit in my lap still. Hi, baby. Hi, cutie. If the rescue didn't find her, she would just be a street dog right now, if you think about it. She'd be, like, fighting for her food. Eating garbage. Isn't that so sad to think about? Who even are you? A two-hour stream? <sighs> right? That's so long for me. Why did they make the phone number for emergency services the same as the date that 9-11 happened? Because isn't it in England 999? Why did they make it 911? They could have just made it 999. Animals don't really deserve us, so precious. I think she deserves me. I think I treat her well compared to what her life would have been. Because I actually coddle her. And anyone who knows me in real life will tell you that I treat her probably like even better than I'd treat a human child. Not, I'm not saying if I had kids I would treat them bad. It's just like an expression. Okay, relax. Don't take that seriously. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with my dog. Silly Goose 911 came first. I don't know which one you're talking about. The phone number came first? You think Osama Bin Laden? Which... Can I read you guys something? I need to share my screen. Okay, can you guys see this? <laughs> Osama Bin Laden Jimenez Lopez is a Peruvian professional footballer who plays as a midfielder for blah, 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 blah. Bin Laden is named after Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> Bin Laden has a brother named Saddam Hussein. Additionally, his father planned on naming his third child after George Bush, but could not since they turned out to be female. Wait, this originally said he has a sister named Georgia Bush. Somebody edited this. 
Anyways. <laughs> Ioni, can I help you? Is that a toy? Is that a toy? She's trying to play with me. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? <laughs> Osama Bin Laden. Which, like, if you say it in Spanish, it's like B. It's like you're saying Bin Laden. It's funny. <sighs> Sorry, I'm playing with my dog for a second. She brought a toy over. She's getting antsy. She's getting antsy. You got ants in your pants? Yeah, she's antsy. She's ants in her pantsy. That's what I like to say when she gets all rambunctious and wants to play. I say, like, she has ants in her pants. She's ants in her pantsy. Like, they didn't even check the spelling. They just went with the phonetics. Yes. You are correct. It's pronounced like a B. So that makes sense. Why that dog got pants on? Don't come for my dog's pants. Sometimes she gets ants in them. She's being so cute right now. She's like vigorously shaking her toy around with her head. She's hunting. When my cat wants to play, I ask him if he's being silly. I do that too. I'll be like, are you being silly? Or you're being so silly. And then sometimes Siri thinks I said, hi Siri. Oh wow, or hey, no, it's hey Siri, not hi Siri. Yep, there it goes. It just popped up. And I'm like, no, not you. Wrong thing. Ioni, Ioni, mommy's streaming. Mommy's streaming. I'm streaming. She looks like a piece of chocolate. It's so cute. You made my phone go off. Sorry. Why is your phone recognizing my voice? Have you not set up your Siri to recognize your voice? Okay, that's enough playing. That's enough playing. We'll play after streaming, okay? Okay, does that sound good? She's like, that's not good, actually. You'll play with me right now. I'll play with my foot. I'll hold it with my foot, okay? So my hands can play. Oops, yeah, I guess not. Then that is your fault. Not my fault. She is so on top chat. I know you're not talking about me. It clearly says all messages. Eight viewers, all messages, live chat. Why do my toes hurt? You know the part of your toes where it bends? They're hurting. I kind of want to end stream and eat some chocolate and then shower and then lay in bed with my laptop. Your toe joints? I suppose that's what they're called. Do we have a podiatrist in chat by chance? I guess we don't. Toe knuckle? It's... I don't know. 18 likes? Stop. Do you guys mean that? Thank you. Do it? You want me to end stream? I mean, I mean, this is a big mountain. It 
is a pr pretty hefty sized mountain. Bendy bits, whoa. Bean, we're keeping this family friendly. Okay, chillax. Metata phalangeal joint. <laughs> it said tata. Ew, put your grippers away. I'll have you know that I'm wearing socks right now, okay? The dogs are away. The dogs are barking. Me. Me. Sock emoji, sock emoji, sock emoji. Use the foot emoji, pussies. Why are you covering the foot with a sock? Use the real foot. Society and their feet oppression. Thank you, Glooper. You don't like feet? I don't like feet either. I like watching people like feet. No, that sounded really like weird. Um, I'm not elaborating because I'm just gonna dig myself into a deeper hole. I just want people to be happy. Stop, 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 rewind, rewind, erase, erase. Does it mean you like Nickelodeon? Not like that. Like, I don't like feet. I don't like seeing them. It's not like that. Like, I want to see people's feet in the sense that I can say I've seen your feet before, but I don't get pleasure out of seeing them. <laughs> Kink shaming's okay on this channel, by the way, if you weren't here for that conversation. No kink is off limits. You can shame anyone or anything for any kink. Particularly furries. Feet is not a weird kink though. Like that is actually pretty normal. I'm kidding, I'm not done. <laughs> God, I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like that. If you like feet, your vanilla, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's the least kinkiest kink. That's my point. I don't have a foot fetish. Like, I don't want to see people's feet. <laughs> she really big ended. I sure did. Oh, I got a chicken from each of those eggs. Wow. They were fertilized.
I don't know, I kind of just want to make the whole top of this mountain one flat sheet of land, but that's going to look really bad when I build on it. Pockets full of dirt. That's what they call me. Uh oh, it's turning nighttime. Terraforming sparkly emoji. Water break. Okay, let's get rid of this mountain because that's where, where I want to build my house. Hi, Ioni. Hi, pretty girl. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of dirt. I got some dirt and I know that it's all my dirt. Ooh, er. Are there birds in this game? There are, there are parrots. And I think that's the only type of bird. While the bees are as big as the birds. The bees are huge, they're so cute. They're so adorable. You just wanna like adopt one. Take me away. The baby chickens are so small and cute. What are the white birds? Ducks? Oh, those are chickens. Yeah, chickens are birds. These are chickens. It's a baby chicken. They get bigger. They just hatched from eggs. They turn to... The bees are like the same size as the fully grown chickens. I can't find a big one right now. They're waddling around here. I forgot that chicken was a bird. I was thinking about the birds that kind of fly around in the sky and those are the parrots. Chickens are dinosaurs. No you. No you. Chicken emoji equal dinosaur emoji. So true, Poppy. Same emoji. You literally put the same emoji twice. Oh my god, this takes, like you look at a small mountain like this and you're like, I can take this down in no time and then it just takes forever and so many shovels. So many. That was me doing an Australian accent, by the way. I'm sorry. It was kind of offensive. Do you watch Bluey? Um, no, I'm 23 years old, actually. Poppy, these are the full-size chickens. Look at all those chickens. 
<gasps> Is that a chicken? Do you guys remember that? We can do this. We can take down this mountain. I'm 25 and I watch Bluey. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lydia. I'm sorry, Lurk. No, I do not watch Bluey. Isn't it a kid's show? You don't watch cartoons? I don't. I don't really watch anything besides YouTube. I don't have the attention span. And like, whenever I try to watch movies with people, I just talk the entire time and it's really annoying. That's a big reason why I've never gone to like a movie night on Keith's server. Cause I'll go in there and then I'll just start talking to everyone <laughs> during the movie. So I'm like, let me just not even go. <laughs> For I'm just like annoying the whole time. Kid shows are great for short attention spans. Really? I just don't pay attention to things. Have you been diagnosed with ADHD because you're about to get peer reviewed? If not, do you think I have ADHD? I don't think so. I don't think I have it. Because I'm very clean and tidy I feel like you have pots brain I do have pots brain that's the issue is I have pots You don't seem like you have ADHD. Thank you. Pookie has ADHD. One like equals one prayer for Pookie. I wish I had ADHD. People with ADHD can drink like eight cups of caffeinated coffee a day. And they're like, hmm, I'm sleepy now. Oh, Adderall? Yeah, I'm just gonna take some of that and then have a, like, a nap. <laughs> Meth? Just a little bit. And then let me just take a little, let me just rest my eyes. V! Hi, V. Sorry, that was loud. That was loud, I'm sorry. V! Hi, V. It's actually Giant Craft, not Minecraft. When I play it, it's Giant Craft. How's London? V, do you feel that the wheat is different? Like the gluten in Europe? Do you think it's different? Do you feel better eating the gluten in Europe? Hey Voss. I'm good Voss, how are you? Sorry I'm late, that's okay. Hi late, I'm Lauren. <laughs> Anyways. I almost don't recognize you without the blue wrench V. Yes, and the milk. My IBS is not IBSing, so I'm slaying. Their cows are just built different. They said gluten who? Lactose who? Did you guys know that lactose actually doesn't exist in Europe?
I would love to read Voss's messages, but she keeps deleting them. Voss, we're playing Minecraft. It's not Animal Crossing. I know your next question is, can you play Animal Crossing? No. OMG, is that true? Yeah. Lactose simply doesn't exist in Europe. No, I'm kidding. V, I'm kidding. They have lactose. Oh, it's JK. I love Minecraft. Great, boss. Usually when I play a game, you hate it, boss. So I'm glad that you like this one. Oh my goodness, my foot really hurts. My toe knuckles, my toe joints help the way I believed you. Do you drink Fairlife milk by chance or like any lactose free milk? Because I recently started drinking milk again. Yes, guys, I drink dairy milk. Okay, get over it. I've started drinking dairy milk again and I get the Fairlife brand because it's lactose free and it's like double the amount of protein. And like I need all the protein I can get for these gains. New woman. Yeah, you can call me Lauren New Woman. I drink Fairlife and lactate. Oh my god, Fairlife twins. Which one do you get? Do you get the fat free? Because I usually get the fat free one just because calories. But I've gotten the 2% reduced fat one as well when the fat free was out. And I was like, not me splurging on milk. Hey, Kelsey. You get fat free to feel skinny even though I'm like accompanying it with craved cereal. But like, here's the thing. Is cereals fortified with a lot of other nutrients like I'm a slut for rice checks and it has hella iron in it like if you eat a serving and a half of rice checks you have your full daily iron needs met so just look at the crave box and see how many nutrients are in it and you'll be like oh my god not me getting iron and then it's healthy the more you know I drink Alpo most, Alpro mostly. They do the soy and the almond and soy alternatives. Slay. I used to be an almond milk girly. I'll just get the 30 calorie unsweetened. But when I started exercising in January this year, I started simultaneously trying to eat more protein. Because at that point I was eating like some chicken and stuff, but... Still probably eating mostly carbs anyways. So I'm like, let me try to be more balanced with my diet. And like milk was one of those things that I added in. Because I'm like, I started drinking coffee again. And I'll drink black coffee, but I do like a milky coffee. And I became afraid of like nuts and stuff. Like almonds and peanuts that like I'm randomly allergic to them now or something. So I couldn't drink almond milk now. So I was like, you know what, I should just drink dairy milk again because, like, there's not many ingredients in it. It's just, like, milk. It has protein. And, yeah. Did you know cornflakes were invented to stop people from being horny? I thought that. Yeah, I thought that. I read that, like, last week. They thought that bland food would stop people from straying from God. I literally just read that on Instagram last week. Did you like that on Instagram? Because I'm pretty sure I got that on my home feed. My favorite Alpro. I just got an ad. Hold on. An ad, another ad for Claritin. My favorite, the Alpro chocolate soy milk. And you can get a version with extra protein. Love. Yes, yeah, soy milk's also high in protein. I've had soy milk before, and, like, it kind of has a strange flavor to me. Um, when I was in high school, I visited Colombia, and almond milk at that point in my life was my go-to milk. You would not catch me drinking dairy. But in Colombia, none of their Starbucks had almond milk. It was either, if you wanted dairy-free, it was either soy or coconut milk. And the coconut had kind of a weird taste to me, so I would just get soy milk, which also had a weird taste to me, but like slightly less weird than the coconut milk. 
So whenever I think of soy milk, I just think of like my coffee with soy milk in it and how it made it taste kind of beany. But it's good because it has protein. So if you like the taste of it, then that's good. I actually did know that, but I'm, I'm in Kellogg's founding state. Aren't we boycotting Kellogg? I eat the Wegmans brand rice checks, which I don't know if Kellogg private labels. They probably do, if I'm honest. That's not really helping. I like oat milk best. Love. I've tried making oat milk. I've never tried oat milk from the store. But when you make oat milk at home, it tastes like what licking a wall would taste like. It tastes like dusty. It's really disgusting. When are we not boycotting Kellogg? Cereal's not even cheap anymore either like why is my rice checks like four dollars a box like die it's rice like relax Kelsey, I started streaming like, whoa, two and a half hours ago. Time has flown by. Not time flying by. I'm almost done removing this mountain i need to finish my work hope you all have a great day okay bye bean thanks for coming have fun working time flies when you're not building a house excuse me excuse me underscore poppy plays underscore I built a house and it's right here. There's a bed and everything. Okay? It's a hut at best. You're a hut at best. Whoa. <laughs> what does that say? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Kelsey, what is, I'm not gonna delete that because I want you to elaborate <laughs> what that means. Me when I see Pookie. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Your cat? Is that code word for something else? <laughs> is your cat's name Richard by chance? <laughs> I'm just in time. I'm just in time for Dick, she said. What? What? <laughs> Hi, 
Dick the cat, or is the cat someone else, something else? If you catch my drift. She's speaking facts right now, so truthy. <sighs> Kelsey, we need like the tiniest shred of context. No, no. We're talking about the fact that you said that you're just in time for dick or something like that. We were just wondering what that meant. That's all. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Is it like a pet cat or a cat? <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to end this stream. Because <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so the mountain's gone. <laughs> At least the mountain's gone, but we're just immensely confused. Now, I'll be right back. I gotta go feed my cat. We know. We, yeah, you were home just in time to feed it. <laughs> With... <sighs> I'm losing my mind. I'm getting like really overheated under my heated blanket and I feel like I'm having like a fever dream. Okay. She said okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't pin. I'm on my other account. I tried to pin something earlier. I'm sorry, I feel like this is my fault somehow. No, it's definitely not. It's funny, Kelsey's funny. Yesterday, I don't think, I sometimes don't think she understands anything. Cause yesterday, every like 20 minutes, every like 20 minutes, <laughs> she's gonna start crying every like 20 minutes she would tell me her cat's birthday and I didn't I didn't ask not even once <laughs> she would just say. I have tears in my eyes right now she would just say it my cat, <laughs> my cat's birthday is, the, is in July 21st, like, or something like that. <sighs> okay, I have a tear dripping from my eye. <laughs> There's snot coming out of my nose now, like, she's actually making me sob. Anyways, we went from cat to pee pee. I mean, they're not too far off if you think about it. Not me being out of water, not me being hydrated from all these tears that I've shed. Not me slurping in the mic. Disgusting. Don't just stop me. B said, don't tell that to Shane Dawson. Not you, not you retracting. I read it. I read it. <laughs> Shane Dawson be like, insert Kelsey's comment. I 
I can't stop flattening the land here. Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them Tory flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top when they say I'm not hot. All these lies need to stop because I'm icy, wifey. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. But if I did, I would have popped off. <sighs> Me neither, Amy Jane. I'm literally sobbing. I'm literally crying. Maybe she's a DC fan? Richard, Dick, Grayson, you know. I don't know because I'm not a DC fan. I think she just genuinely doesn't know what's going on. Oh, you love him, Lauren? Big butt and all? Send me a picture of him. Not a looper being back. Ew, I'm like overheated and sweating. I need to get water. I need to end the stream. I don't, I can't. I don't know how people stream for so long. Because I actually feel sick when I stream for more than like two hours. Like I'm nauseous, hot and sweaty and overheating and I feel like I have a fever now. I should end. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> she cleared it right up we can end thank you for cleaning that up kelsey i appreciate that i appreciate that i'm gonna throw up oh my goodness okay i'm ending i'm ending thank you guys so much for coming where am i going let me go oh let me see if there's someone we can write let me bear with me for one moment. Hmm. There are several people. What if we raid... What if we raid Ben? Ben's playing Elden Ring? I've never played this. Um, but let's raid Ben. We're gonna do... Hashtag... Not us... Raiding... Kelsey, oh, that's in all caps. Kelsey, please join us on the raid. You're a national treasure. Hashtag not us raiding. Hand over mouth emoji. I'm on my Windows computer and I don't know how to do emojis on here. Fuck, Poppy, I didn't mean to delete that. I was trying to copy and paste the hand over mouth emoji. Copy? How do I get emojis on a Windows computer? Hold on, hold on. Now I have to s file through the emoji list. Hand over mouth. Here we go. Okay, hashtag not us rating. <laughs> okay, send that hashtag right there. Hashtag not us rating. Okay, thanks so much for coming. And remember, don't do drugs without me.